If you've ever had to wait for a lift of one of the five drawbridges that span the Willamette River through downtown Portland, you know it can be a frustrating experience. Yeah, but in today's Behind the Wheel, Tony shows us what a bridge lift is like from the bridge tender's perspective. In my other life, I figured out oh, there's somebody in there, but I didn't really give it much thought until I came here. Here is the Morrison Bridge Tower, a 20 by 20 foot perch, 100 feet above the Willamette River, a place Multnomah County bridge tenders call home. It's different every day. I love the view. But we have a refrigerator, a microwave, and a restroom facilities downstairs. Tenders are trained to lift any of downtown Portland's five draw bridges. Each one has a story and a personality all its own. The Burnside Bridge would be kind of old and cranky. The Broadway Bridge would be uh, loud and efficient. But with 50,000 customers a day, the busiest bridge is the Morrison. And this bridge would be fast and furious. Speaking of furious, at least once a day, drivers crossing the Morrison come to a complete standstill, yielding to river traffic below. As you might have guessed, conducting a bridge lift is a lot more rewarding than waiting one out. There's a whole dimension to this, uh, to this job that I, yeah, come to appreciate. When they're not lifting tons of steel and concrete, bridge tenders stay busy with maintenance, log books, and... Um. Then we answer phones. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Morrison Bridge, how can I help you? But there's always time to stop and take it all in. I love graveyard shift. I love being up all night. I love watching the river. It's so peaceful. I love watching the sunrise. I love it. Yeah. <laughs> I, I consider myself very fortunate. <laughs> Quick facts about the Morrison Bridge. It's a Chicago-style bascule double-leaf bridge. About 50,000 cars cross it a day, and it's the largest mechanical device in the state of Oregon. A couple things to think about next time you're stuck waiting for it to open. I'm Tony Martinez, Fox 12, Oregon. That's a great little education. I love that he I loves agree. his job, too. Yeah. Well, there's a ton of history there, too. That Morrison Bridge opened in eight, uh, around 1958, but the first one was in 1887, oh. and it actually turned in the middle. It was a wooden <gasps> bridge, and it was like 20 cents for wow. a team of horses. Oh, look at it. That's what it looked like. So, wow. yeah, they've come a long way. But it, uh, it really gives you a different perspective, though. I, I truly believe the next time you sit in traffic, yeah. you go, wow, there's a guy well, you're going to look at. Well, it's nice someone yeah. is enjoying the lift. Yes, right? <laughs> at least one person's going, this is so yeah, much true. fun. And a reminder to just enjoy the views from our bridges because right. yeah. they're gorgeous. Yeah. Thanks, Tony. Thanks, Tony. Knock on wood, I haven't gotten stuck in one yeah. of those. Oh, lifts. boy. Just yeah. you know, right she there. was telling Funny me, though, during the piece, she was almost disappointed. Right. You know, oh, she not. hasn't experienced that. that poor I've been stuck on a you, bike. It you forces know. you to slow down. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. Way. Slow down. It'll happen, Tracy. Just be patient. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs>